Bumblebee sources much of its herring, the species of fish used in our sardine products, from the northeast coast of North America. The sardine industry has a rich history in southeastern Canada and the northeastern U.S., where there were more than 100 canneries in operation at the turn of the 20th century. Today, Bumblebee is the last significant North American canner of sardines. Herring are caught in the Bay of Fundy and Gulf of Maine fishing grounds. The herring fishery is seasonal, with most of the landings taking place between June and October. The primary methods of harvesting the herring used in our sardine products are purseine and weir fishing. Purseine fishing involves locating schools of herring and encircling the school with a large net that has floats on the top and weights and rings on the bottom. A smaller boat takes one end of the net and pulls it around the school and reconnects the net to the main fishing vessel. A cable that runs through the rings at the bottom of the net up to the fishing vessel is slowly pulled tight, closing the bottom of the net like a purse string to contain the school of fish. As the cable and net is pulled around the boat, the circle gets smaller and the fish closer to the surface. At this point, the fish are pumped on board the fishing vessel, where they're put in refrigerated seawater for transport to the processing facility. Another method of catching herring in the Bay of Fundy is through the use of weirs, a passive fishing method adapted from the Native American Indians in the 16th century. Weirs are sets of stationary poles and netting placed near shore in tidal areas that act to direct schools of herring, which follow the flow of water, into confined areas, which act as a trap for the fish. Once the fish are confined within the shallow waters in the weir, fishing vessels equipped with seine nets encircle the fish and work to bring the fish to the surface. Once at the surface, a vacuum is then used to suck the fish from the weir onto a carrier vessel, where the fish are put in refrigerated seawater for transport to the processing facility. The fish is unloaded by pump directly from the fishing vessel to the facility sizing operation on the third floor of the facility. Once sized, the sardines are held in tanks of refrigerated water before being fed into the processing area. Given the vagaries of supply, Black's Harbor still utilizes a combination of packing techniques from the old-fashioned scissors cutters to semi-automated Hermasa fillers to SAP machines, which were developed by Connors engineers and which technology remains proprietary to the company. Once the sardines are in the can, the product is cooked without the lid. This allows the oils to cook out, and once the cook cycle is completed, the cans are tipped so the oil can drain. Sardine oil, as well as other sardine waste, is collected and sold as a valuable byproduct in the form of fish oil or fish meal for use in dietary supplements, pet food, and animal feed. After the cans have drained, they're placed into the automated filling lines where a variety of sauces are added. In addition to basic products filled in water and oil, Black's Harbor produces a full range of flavors including tomato, hot sauce, and mustard sauce. After seaming, the cans are racked and sterilized in our retorts. After retorting, the cans go through 100% x-ray inspection to ensure the seams are tight, and then go through either a straight robotic casing process, or for our higher quality products, go through an overwrap machine before casing. <laughs>